Today, we're gonna to use a Glowforge and Cuddle to create a laser cut drawer unit. Now, if you've never used Cuddle before, it's definitely worth checking out. Cuddle makes it really easy to create sophisticated designs, even for beginners. Now to create our laser cut drawer unit, I'm going to use their box with dividers template to make both the drawer unit carcass, yes, that's the correct terminology, it's the outside of our box, as well as the 12 pullout drawers. Now I should also mention that I created a crude prototype first using some scrap material. And I just wanted to make sure that everything looks good and that my measurements are correct before cutting into our more expensive material, which in our case is white oak plywood. So now that everything looks okay, Let's go ahead and make our file. The first thing that I'm going to do is to use Cuddle to input the dimensions of our drawer unit. Next, I'll input my material thickness, the tab width, and the number of columns and rows needed. Okay, so this looks good. So now I'm going to download the SVG and start cutting out the pieces on my Glowforge Pro HD. Now, one of the things I like about Cuddle is it has curve compensation, meaning that it accounts for the material lost during the burning process. And this ensures that our finger joints have no gaps. I also realized while I was cutting out these pieces that our back piece was too large to fit in the Glowforge bed. But luckily I have the Pro HD and was able to use the pass-through feature to get this cut. So I think the next step is to clean up the char on our white oak plywood. And to do that, I'm going to lightly sand each face using an orbital sander. Hey. All right. Now that we have everything sanded, let's glue everything together using some wood glue. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours and we let the glue dry, but now it's time to paint. So I bought both a black stain and a black paint. I'm not sure which one to use yet. So I think I'm just gonna try a small sample of both. So I originally thought I was gonna go with the stain. However, when the paint dried, well, it just looks a lot richer and you can still see the grain underneath. So I think I'm gonna go with the paint. For the drawers, I'm going to use the same template that I used to create this, except this time, I only need one column and one row. I also cut out three rectangles, and these are going to serve as the drawer runners. And as you can see, I glued one piece here, another piece here, and then each drawer has a spot in the middle so that we can slide this in nice and easy. I also created a score line on the bottom to help me line things up perfectly. So now the next step is to glue up all of my drawers the same way I glued up our case. Okay, so now I need to decide, do I want to leave everything as is, or do I want to sand off the char to clean things up? And I think I'm going to sand it. I like this look a little bit better. For the drawer fronts, I engraved and cut 12 squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these in the front of each drawer to hide these finger joints. However, I don't really know what color I want to go with. So I primed and painted a few different samples. So I'm going to put these in now to see which color I like the best. So 
So I think I'm gonna go with the light gray drawer fronts. The black one's a little too similar and I don't really like the colored ones. So now the next step is to prime and paint each of these drawer fronts and then we're gonna install our hardware. Okay, so we are almost finished. The last thing that we need to do is to glue our drawer fronts onto our drawers, add a knob to each drawer, and then add feet to the bottom of our case. Now to glue our drawer fronts to our drawer, I'm just gonna take some wood glue. Just need a, just a little bit, a few dabs. I'm gonna take our drawer front, lay it on top like that. Then I'm gonna take a screw and our knob and we'll feed it underneath. And then we'll screw on this knob, but not too much pressure yet. I still want some wiggle room. So now I can place the drawer in here like that. And then when I know it's nice and square, Let me tighten it up. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna do that 11 more times. Well, with the hardware all installed, I guess this project's complete. Looks pretty good. The drawers slide in nicely. So I guess that just means I'll see you in the next video.